We're at it again, Diesel. Trip 24 begins. That is right. Buckle up. We are leaving on trip 24 of this year, trip 24 since I came back over the road, whatever you want to call it, trip 24. We are headed to Calgary, Alberta. That is in Western Canada, my favorite Canadian city. But we are making stops on the way there. First, we gotta go up north a little bit, go to St. Paul, Alberta. We gotta go to Red Deer, Alberta, Rocky Mountain, Alberta, and then we're ending off in Calgary, Alberta. A lot of Alberta going on. So, we have 1,289 kilometers to our first drop. That is 13 hours of steady, good highway driving in good conditions. On the road again. Don't know the words, on the road again. You know what I don't like about these wipers? Yep, here I go, complaining again. I'm a trucker, what do you want? Watch this, I'm gonna try to clear with the windshield wiper. Watch. See that? Is it getting the whole window? No. Wanna know why? Because the airflow around the windshield was not thought out properly when they installed these wipers on these Peterbilts. The other side is nice, but the wind comes over from the right and pushes to the left, right, as it goes around the truck, and it pushes the washer fluid to the left as well, so it doesn't get all the way to that side. You know what I mean? Peterbilt, you should know better than that. Very disappointed in you. If I ever buy my own truck, it's gonna be a Volvo or a Freightliner, Cascadia. I just want the big interior space. I know you're going, no, 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 get the Peterbilt long nose. Get the Kenner W9. Yeah, I know all you macho men out there, I know. Like I said, I want interior space. You gotta live inside your truck. I wanna be able to live in my truck and breathe in my truck. Maybe have a passenger along now and then and still be able to turn around. Know what I mean? Well, we're in the left lane here because we're going to Chimmies. I'll see you in a bit. We just fueled up in Portage La Prairie, Manitoba. We're headed west. We're between Portage and Brandon right now. So we got a ways to go yet. I think I'm gonna try to get to Saskatoon late tonight yet. See if there's any room for me at the inn then at Flying J. The reason I wanna go so far is because they got showers there. And I don't know, I have this thing about showering. I don't know, I like them. So, and I know if I don't shower there, there's not gonna be very many opportunities to shower. Because when you're up here in Canada, there's, especially Western Canada, there's limited showers everywhere. Not like in the States where you got a truck stop with a shower every half hour or less. Like right now, between me and Saskatoon, there's nothing. No good truck stops for showers. There's a Husky in Regina. I don't know if I'd shower there, but there, yeah, I think they got showers, but that's another five hours away yet. You gotta plan out your, uh, plan out your showers like that. Otherwise you become one of those stereotypical smelly truckers. Nobody likes that. What are you looking at? I'm talking to myself. Staring at me and laughing. Hey! Don't laugh at me, I laugh at you. Ha <laughs> ha! Brandon! Manitoba. Manitoba. Just passing through. Of course, there's traffic lights on Trans Canada. Interstate, whatever you want to call it. Trans Canada. That's how you know you're in Canada. They put traffic lights on the freeway. Making it only free to drive on. So it's still 
technically a freeway. There's Timmy's off to the right there. We're not stopping at this Timmy's though. We're gonna go up to Mooseman and stop there at that Timmy's. I like that one better. There's more parking and I'm not needing a coffee yet. I'm still wired off my last one, so. Mooseman's about an hour down the road. Hour, an hour and a half. That would be a better spot. There's one in Verdon too down the road if I really needed one, but I don't stop here very often anymore because I usually stop at Oak Bluff in Winnipeg. And at this point in my day, I really don't need one again yet. We'll see. Okay, red light. I was already creeping for the last quarter mile so that you had time to turn green. I am not stopping completely. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Gotta stop completely. Like, first of all, they put red lights on the main road through Canada. And then they make the red lights last an eternity. It's like, jeez. Overpasses. Underpasses. What a wonderful thought. Never crossed anyone's mind out here. I know, dirty window. Whatever, deal with it. Mr. Pike here. Going like 100 kilometers an hour and I am limited to 101. So this is what we're left with. Dan it, dan it. Dan it, dan it, dan it. Dan it, dan it, dan it. Here I come. Slowly but surely. As fast as I can go. So unless he lets off and lets me pass, this is how we're gonna, this is how this event is gonna go down. Mr. Safeway. Mr. Safeway. Thinks you're all tough with your pikes. One day I'm gonna pull one of those. Just for fun, just once or twice. Not like full time, but it's a lot of extra work. Wonder how much they get paid. I'd like to know. This guy's got a tiny little day cab in the front, so it's not as bad as driving it with a full highway unit. Oh well. We are coming near to Verdon, Manitoba. We're losing daylight. Gotta finish up this vlog soon. All right, Saskatchewan. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. This is where our resting place is gonna be tonight, if there's room for us at the inn. Gonna be going to Flying J Trucking Stop on Idlewild Drive, north of the city. If there's no room there, we'll be meandering or meandering our way over to Husky Truck Stop down the road there. Whatever that road is called, it starts with an M, I think. Figure it out. Why are there lights? Really? That road isn't even open. Why haven't they like disabled these lights? They have that road blocked off for construction. Crazy. Like, didn't think that went through, did you? Anyways. Yeah, we are probably 10 minutes from the inn. Let's see what we find when we get there. All right, well, we've arrived at the inn. The fact that all these trucks are parked all the way out here is not a good sign. Probably means that it's packed full house in the actual parking lot. There's Mr. Pikes in front of us here, taking her super wide. It's two 53-foot trailers behind him. At least I know he's not gonna take any spot from me. <laughs> I don't even know where they stop for the night. They have like special stops for the night where it's uh, like a drive-through parking, sort of like drive-through camping. Okay, well there's a spot beside that guy there. That's my backup. If I don't find any, let's troll around the parking lot here for a little bit. Look for your parking spot. Troll in for a parking spot. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. This would be a driveway here, Mr. Big Freight. Thank you for parking right in the driveway. Well, at least we can still get through. Whatever. What is Mr. Four Wheeler doing over here? What are you doing there? Just sitting there doing nothing. No one's even in there. It's just a parked car. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and this is how we troll for a parking spot. Oh, 
always troll on the driver's side because you got to back in and driver's side in. You know what I mean? You don't want to blindside it in. And there's a bobtail in there. I hate you. And there's a bobtail in there. I hate you too. And there's a spot for Trucker Josh. Oh, that's tight though. We're going to go see if there's anything else. Mr. Trapper here decided he didn't want to park in the lines and left little to no space on the other side there. All right, well, we made it. Here we are in our little parking spot. Right, Diesel? One of these days, you're going to have to acknowledge the camera. You know that, right? It's not going anywhere. Mm. Mm. Nice nose you got there. Very nice nose. Just totally ignores the camera. I don't know why. Anyways, we're here. It's a tight spot that I got into, but I got it like a boss on the first try. And now we're gonna go to sleep, go and have a shower, all like that, and clean up and everything, and we'll see you tomorrow. Right, Diesel? Right and early.